Sagittarius, my fire sign Sagittarius people. Welcome and welcome back to the channel, you guys. If you are new, this is Queen of Wands, 11, 11, nah. here to do y'all love reading for October 2024. If you are returning, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate y'all. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a general love reading for the collective Sagittarius. Take whatever resonates with you guys and leave the rest. This card keeps popping out, especially in a pre-shuffle. It kept popping out. It popped out like three times. So I don't know if you guys are breaking up with somebody or if you're walking away from somebody or if you ended a relationship with somebody. But I do feel like there's a breakup happening or there's getting ready to be a breakup. If this does not resonate with you now or make sense with you now, this could be a prediction for what's to come in the near future. If you guys would like to book a private one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email about your inquiry. I do have a discount going on for the readings. They are on sale. Okay, so if you are interested, send me an email. It will be um, showing up on the screen here. All right. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Let's see uh, what the universe has for you, what the universe wants you guys to know. I feel like, Sagittarius, you have went through some changes in your life, okay? You're going through a regeneration, growth. There's growth happening in your life. You're growing. You're going through a metamorphosis. You went through a lot of cycles. You're evolving. You're transforming, okay? Butterflies may be significant, too. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies out in nature. You could have a butterfly tattoo, accessories, or butterfly pictures on your wall, or you just may love butterflies, like the color of butterflies here, okay? Something may have changed in your love life as well. Someone may also feel like you have changed their life. Let's see. Yeah. This change is happening now, okay, in divine timing. You guys may have felt there was a stalemate in your life. You may have felt like you was at a stalemate when it came to some sort of growth in a relationship, some sort of change. You could have been waiting for change. Divine intervention is here. So I do feel like God is working with you. I also feel like God is working with somebody here that is in your energy. Somebody's getting karma. Okay. Someone here was the catalyst for your growth. Or are you waiting for some sort of change to happen um, was a catalyst for your growth, your metamorphosis. I'm seeing serendipity here too. There could have been a fire for some of you. Not all of you. Take the messages, how they may resonate with you. Family. That's confirmation. It could be some family issues going on here. Or you may have children you're focused on. You're focused on your family here. Let's see. New love is coming in. Okay. New love is coming in. I feel like this could be a blended family or y'all going to talk about creating a family together. You may already have a family or this person does. I see a honeymoon phase, childlike energy between the two of you. You're starting a brand new beginning. You're moving on to someone new here. Toxic relationship. Hmm. I feel like there could be a toxic relationship between you and this new person. Okay, there could be some fighting here or this person is like codependent on you, codependent in their life. There could be some misunderstandings between the two of you. When y'all two have conversations, you feel like this person doesn't understand where you're coming from. I feel like there's some triggers here in your energy. Okay, this person has unfinished business with you, so I do feel like they want to come back. They don't feel like this relationship is over. Um, they could have some patterns here that you may notice with this person. 
They could have been back and forth with you or in and out of your life, hot and cold. But I do feel like this person is coming in with some sort of baggage here. They could be bringing you some flowers or flowers may be significant. Some sort of red roses. I'm hearing a dozen roses by uh, Curtis Mayfield. What else is happening here for Sagittarius? Ghosted. <clears throat> what the hell is wrong with this person? So this could go one of three ways. Number one. This person um, could have ghosted you, wanted to come back, or they came back and ghosted you, or they came back or they're coming back and you could be ghosting them. Okay, there's a disappearance going on. You could be going silent, ignoring them, rejecting them because of a toxic relationship that y'all have. Yeah, the truth. Okay. So you ghost to them because you know the truth about them or the truth has come out. This person may have given you some sort of confession here. Um, I feel like you guys got clarity or you're getting clarity. Something's being revealed here and it could be a secret. Okay, roll the dice. I feel like somebody was being very strategic. I feel like somebody took a risk in you guys' relationship and did something here. You're getting signs and synchronicities from the universe. A message from the universe, a hint. Somebody's initials could begin with the letters B, H, or M. You could be seeing the numbers 222, 888. You could be seeing other signs too. Somebody may drive a BMW or a Mercedes Benz. storm warning yeah this person put you through a lot there's obstacles in your life when you deal with this person you feel like something's always in the way you feel like you guys can't move forward there's upheavals in this person's life there's upheavals wherever this person goes this person is a complete wrecking ball um they get on your nerves they give you a headache they cause drama here they could be drama in their life as well you guys uh was arguing fighting there was a lot of drama could have been outside influences like uh, their family. Okay, this new love here. Um, if you don't have a family with them, you may have met their family or they want to meet your family. Or you could have met their family. <clears throat> Regret fell out of the deck. So this person is regretting um, what they put you through with this storm warning. Um, they feel like they made a mistake. They feel guilty. Yeah, they made the wrong choice. And they, they do owe you an apology. Yeah, this is an ex-lover. Okay. This is somebody from the past. You're putting the past in the past. But this person is nostalgic. This is an old flame. The flame has died out. You don't see potential for growth between the two of you. I feel like there's memories here that you two created or the time that y'all spent together. This is what they're thinking about. Yeah, you're listening to your intuition. You're very intuitive. Okay, you had a gut feeling that something was going on, like a premonition, that something good or something bad was going to happen. Some of you could be psychic. Some of you could be tarot readers or you're just pulling your own cards. This ex-lover could be getting readings on you. Um, I feel like they're also listening to their intuition too, okay? They could be intuitive like you. This person has some sort of addiction here, Sagittarius, Okay. They have a toxic attachment to, could be uh, people, places, things, um, drugs, could be of significance here, some sort of substance, alcohol. They could be obsessed with you as well. Give me one more for Sagittarius. Home. Okay. Y'all may have talked about moving in together. Y'all may have uh, lived together already. Or this person lived in your neighborhood, lived in a, a different town from you. Um, or they just see you like home to them. You make them feel like they belong. You make them feel safe. You make them feel comfortable. Y'all still could be attracted to one another. But this person stresses you out. Um, I feel like you suffer from some sort of anxiety, depression, panic attacks. Or you just been having sleepless nights. Okay, this anxiety has caused a lot of fear in your energy. Or it could be this person. Like this anxiety make you feel like something bad is going to happen. Like you're at a place of doom. It could be some symptoms that you're um, experiencing. 
I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, Sagittarius. I'm not a Sagittarius, but I do suffer from anxiety and that is no joke, okay? Um, I have hyperthyroidism and that's for another time, okay? I'll do a story time on my hyperthyroidism another time, okay? That's for a whole nother day, but yeah, that's not, that's not something that's, you know... It's not good at all. I feel like some of y'all could be suffering from hyperthyroidism out there. And you have um, strange symptoms. That's for some of you. If not, do not make that message fit with your story. Okay. Um, let's see what's coming out. Let's see what the messages are. Let's see what the universe has for you. If this is resonating with you so far, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, share this video, you guys, and subscribe for more readings. Turn your post notifications on to all so you'll be notified whenever I post a reading for you guys. Let's see what the universe wants you to know. You feel like this person is bringing negative energy into your life. And I do feel like some of you have an evil eye bracelet or evil eye pendant that you are using for protection. You could be upping your protection by praying using lavender or crystals or salt, sea salt in your bath water. Um, but this person has weird intentions towards you towards the relationship they're envious as fuck not just towards you but other people i feel like whatever they try to do here their mission has failed this could be a water sign a cancer a pisces or a scorpio yeah i feel like this relationship was short term sagittarius okay you may listen to the Migos or Quavo or uh, Suede, Suede, whatever her name is. Okay. This was a short-term relationship. This person is wishy-washy. They're unstable. This was an unstable foundation. Like there's no stability in this foundation. You felt like this was temporary. You may have felt like this person was not that interested in you because of the way they act towards you, because of their actions towards you, okay? Some of y'all favorite artists is Aaliyah, Suede, or Quavo, or the Migos, okay? This person's inconsistent, undecisive. They're too occupied. They have a lot of things going on. Some of your favorite artists could be Offset or Cardi B, okay? This was a situation ship that you felt like you was in with this person. This person was trying to keep your relationship a secret or trying to keep um, another relationship a secret. This could have been them hooking up with a sneaky link. And you felt like the relationship between the two of you wasn't getting anywhere. Yeah, see, not going anywhere. Some of y'all favorite artists could be Lil Durk. Okay, some of y'all may have y'all hair like Lil Dirk for my males out there. Or females. You needed this person, but you felt stuck. You could have been codependent on them or this person was codependent. And what I mean by codependent, you may not have walked away from this person. Some of you did. They still want you. <laughs> it says, let's make up. I want to work it out. Y'all could be fixing mistakes here. Some of you could be giving this person a second chance. Some of you are not. More messages for Sagittarius. Yeah, y'all could be fixing mistakes because they came and apologized to you or this is something that they're going to be doing. This is uh, the action they're going to be taking towards you in the near future. They want to talk to you. They have regret. They regret their decisions. They want to change their behavior. Or you may feel like this person's behavior has changed. Some of y'all favorite artists could be Rihanna or Chris Brown, Usher or Chili. I do feel like um, it is complicated. That could be your relationship status on your social media account. 
Okay, this person is forcing a relationship with you. So I feel like some of you may be fixing mistakes with this person because they're not taking no for an answer. Like they're trying to force a relationship when you are not happy. There's a lack of passion. And I feel like you're just bored as fuck in this connection here with this person. Give me more for Sagittarius. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I feel like um, this person has fake friends around them or you may have fake friends around you that's messy as fuck. You know, they like to talk shit about people. These fake friends could be talking shit about you. There's some gaslighting energy going on here. Okay. Or it could be this person that's messy as fuck, talking shit, got fake friends around them, the gaslighting you. Some of y'all got a tattoo below your calf. On your lower leg. And it kind of stops at like your ankle. That's for some of you out there. Not all of you have tattoos there. You feel like this person just want to fuck. <laughs> it says Netflix and chill. Bend over. Get on top. You feel like this person just wants to gain some sort of physical benefits from you. I feel like in the past, y'all talked about marriage, making exciting plans. Y'all could have been talking about doing business together. You could have been feeling really good in the beginning, feeling stability, okay? With the Michelle and Barack Obama um, card here. Give me one more for Sagittarius. There could be children involved. There could be a possible pregnancy for some of you. You could be pregnant, so you could be going to take a test. Some of you could be experiencing like symptoms of pregnancy. Or you could just be feeling like your body is out of whack. Like uh, you're having symptoms that you don't normally feel if you don't have children. This person wants more kids. If you have kids, if you don't have kids, they want to have children with you. all right so i've already shuffled the tarot deck let's get started <clears throat> some of y'all not talking to this person you block them or if they're sending you long paragraphs of messages text messages voicemails emails you're just scrolling through the message you're not even reading it i feel like um something is slowing down in this person's life could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius here. It doesn't have to be. It could be somebody embodying that fire energy. There could be travel delays for some of you. But I feel like you're not talking to this person because you realize that this person is truly manipulative. They're gaslighting. They try to like um, sweep things under the rug. They want y'all to start off from where y'all left off. They really don't want to talk about the past. They don't want to hear about it. They just want to pick up from where you guys left off. I feel like this is somebody that is um, trickery. I also feel like this person could be doing some sort of spell work on you. Trying to manifest some sort of communication with you. This could be like black magic. Yeah, they're trying to do a, a love spell on you to try to get you back into a relationship with them. With the four of wands. This could be a Gemini. This could be a fire sign. They see you as a twin. Okay, y'all could be seeing 1111 a lot, or you will be seeing 1111 a lot. Somebody's birthday could be 1111, okay? But I just feel like um, they want stability with you, they want a relationship with you, they want to move in with you or come back home. Y'all could have talked about, for some of you, y'all could have talked about getting married or getting engaged. Or they could be gaslighting you using this information, like wanting to propose to you. They could be gaslighting you. They could be manipulating you. Mm. Making it seem as if though they want a relationship or they want to get married or they want to move in together. I feel like that's just their way of trying to wheel you back into their life. What 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 is going on? Yeah, this person is coming in with baggage. 
Ten of Wands. More fire. There's a heavy fire energy in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all could be dealing with another fire sign. Could be a Leo, another Sagittarius, or an Aries. I feel like you feel stressed out, burdened, overwhelmed. You feel like you have to deal with a lot of responsibilities when it comes to this relationship. You feel like you just can't carry this baggage. You can't carry these burdens. You feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders here. Okay? And I feel like, yeah, there's a third party or some sort of gossip going on here. You do not want to work with this person. You do not want to compromise with them. You don't feel at ease working with this person at all. Okay? There's a third party. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Who is this third party? Or what is this three of pentacles in the reverse? Archangel Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. This person is making a bad investment. They're not fully invested in this third party. You feel like this person wasted your damn time with the seven of pentacles. This third party also feels like your person wasted their time. Or I'm sorry, your ex wasted their damn time. Okay, this person has no remorse, no regret, no nothing. They don't give a fuck about whose time they do waste. I feel like you're letting things go with the five of cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could have water in your chart or earth placements in your chart. I feel like you're moving on, you're letting things go, you're healing, and I feel like you don't give a fuck anymore. I feel like you're embarking on something new, something exciting. This could be a new person, this could be an idea, or something that you're taking on in your life. Okay, with the Page of Wands, there's some good news coming in for you, but I also feel like this person wants to reach out to you. Some sort of decision has been made, or it is being made. With the two of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> What's this? Yeah, you just don't see um, passion. You don't have no passion for this person. You could be feeling like the sex is garbage. Like you've lost the spark. You've lost the passion. You've lost that. Um, what you felt like this person brought to the table was potential. You don't see no potential for growth in this connection here. You're not attracted to them either. And I feel like you're moving on. You're becoming single. You're independent. You're focused on yourself. Your money is looking good. You're looking good. You're living your best life. With the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. The wheel is turning in your favor. Your luck and fortune is changing for you. There's a change. There's a shift happening here in your energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy. With this wheel of fortune. Things are looking on the up and up for you. I feel like divine timing is at work in your love life. In your financial life. Some of you um, could be looking into your birth chart. To see like how it may resonate with you. Let's get some more messages here. Yeah, you just lost hope, faith in this Aquarius. You feel like it's hopeless to try to... Heal things, mend things, work things out with them. Somebody has not healed. Somebody here um, feels hopeless. Hmm. Yeah, three of wands in the reverse. I feel like you're turning your back. But somebody wants you to return to them. With the three of wands in the reverse. Somebody wants you to return. But they're not going to commit to you. They're not going to invest. They're not going to like put the work and effort into this connection. This person may be in debt or have a gambling problem. Or something negative is going on with their uh, business. Yeah, you just don't feel the love with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer energy. You just don't feel the love. You don't feel love by this person. 
you don't love this person. You don't have emotions for them. You're detaching your emotions from this person. And I also feel like you're pouring this love into yourself. Yeah, they're unhappy and they're depressed. They could be like on some sort of substance. I feel like you're just working on yourself, putting that work and effort into yourself. Some of you could be self-employed. Some of you could be um, working at a new job. Some of you throwing yourself into your work to try to get your mind off of um, the unhappiness that this person brought into your life. They didn't make you happy. I feel like you put a lot of work and effort into this connection. I feel like you felt very unhappy and depressed and down because you kept trying to make this relationship work for some of you. Yeah, I feel like at one point you did like this person. You did have feelings for this person. You had emotions for this person. Could be somebody younger than you or you're younger than them. But I do feel like this person was juggling you, two-timing you, going back and forth with you. They were in and out and decisive with the two of pentacles. And I do feel like this person wants to send you a text message. Okay. Some of you could have been thinking about sending this person like a message. But you could have been going back and forth in your mind if you should or shouldn't do this. Or it could be this person that's feeling this way. I feel like there was just a lot of ups and downs between the two of you in this connection. And this person was really juggling you. I feel like you're going to be busy um, this week coming up. I feel like you may have a lot of responsibilities. You may have to fulfill a lot of commitments like going to the doctor, um, paying bills. You know, you could just be multitasking, you know, trying to find some sort of balance in your life and your finances here. I also feel like you was trying to find balance in this relationship. You could have been indecisive about your feelings for this person. Like you may have been unsure about how you felt about this person since this person was actually making you feel unhappy and dissatisfied in this connection. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want to come out of the cold with you. They want to come out of the cold, but this is somebody that's non-committal. They won't commit to you. This is somebody that's in debt too. They're just going to bring you down. Okay. Some of y'all may have been married to this person. Had a family with this person. Yeah. They don't want you to walk away. They could be. Um, telling you that you make them really happy. And you know. They're trying to stop you from walking away from them. It could be because y'all have kids together or y'all a family or y'all married or they could be talking about the plans y'all made to get married or have family together. Somebody's definitely returning. They can't walk away. If this person was married, they did not walk away from their uh, wife or husband because of some sort of um, family situation. Yeah, unfinished business. You're trying to avoid a tower moment. You're trying to avoid a disaster. And I feel like you're dodging a bullet. But they have unfinished business with you. And I feel like with the Knight of Wands, they are taking action towards you. But you feel like you are at a point where this person can't keep you stuck. They can't keep you blocked. They can't keep you tied down. They can't trap you. They can't blind you to the truth anymore. I feel like you're releasing yourself from this person or you already did with the eight of swords in the reverse for others of you if this person got locked up they're getting out of jail if this person has mental health issues they could be like recovering from some sort of mental health issue here if you are having financial issues or going through some sort of homelessness or having a hard time moving or just feeling like you are not where you wanted to be financially or in your life. I feel like you're coming out of that or you will be in the near future coming out of that. You could be coming out of that now or you already came out of that. Because I saw the nine of pentacles. So what you're doing is just focusing on yourself. 
with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you may feel like, and the King of Pentacles in reverse, like you're not where you want to be financially. Okay, but definitely this person is not as financially stable as they try to make it seem like they are. They're not. Okay, they could be addicted to gambling. Those are your messages, okay, Sagittarius. <clears throat> That is all that I have for you for today. If this resonates with you, if you have clarity, um, confirmation, if this is your story, um, like this video up. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates with you. Turn your post notifications on to all. Uh, like I said, like this video up, comment, share, subscribe for more readings, you guys. And if you are interested in booking me for a one-on-one -on -one private personal reading, that information will be in the description box down below and also on the screen. To book a reading Email me at queenofwands1111tarot.com and I will answer your email at my earliest convenience and I will let you know the details and how we can get started, okay? My, <clears throat> excuse me, readings are usually pre-recorded, so that's how I will be delivering your reading and it will be de delivered to you within 24 hours or earlier if you really need it, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Until next time. Bye, Sagittarius. Oh, and I forgot they're on sale. My readings are on sale. I have a discount for y'all. So make sure that you hit me up if you want that personal reading. And I'll see y'all in the next reading. Bye.